we welcome you here live on top of the indoor track inside of the Lake Orion High School Fieldhouse, just outside of downtown Lake Orion, Michigan, as tonight, two teams enter ready to battle. Only one can come out victorious. It's Troy and Lake Orion for the ONTV Game of the Week. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ben Shadle, and tonight I'm here by myself getting ready to call some varsity boys basketball action inside of LOHS, as tonight it's a tale of two rosters looking to continue their early success. Troy enters their third league game against the Dragons with an impressive league record of 3-0, which puts them atop of the OAA White Division, only tied with Lake Orion also having a 3-0 record within the OEA White. Now as we close in on tip-off, here are your starting lineups for both teams. For the Troy Colts, number one, John Whiteside. Number two, Bryce Bauman. Number four, Andrew Lake. Number five, Mason Parker. And finally, rounding out the starting five is number 11, Chase Kuyper. For the Lake Orion Dragons, it's going to be number zero, Gabe Scott. Number three, Ethan Sharkey. Number five, Hayden Armstrong. Number 23, Ryan Rushlow. And finally, number 21, Zachary Price Parks. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, about to tip off. Parks and Whiteside, the two main man. And Whitehead's going to win the first tip off. It's going to be Lake having the ball early for the Colts, driving left side. Down low. That's going to be out of bounds off of Bauman's hands. Late pass. As now it appears the Colts are going to be applying some full court pressure. The Dragons are able to deal with it well. Armstrong now inside, down low, kicking it out to Parks. Sharkey having it. Swing over to Scott. Scott looking for help. Left side, swings it all the way up. It's going to be stolen by the Colts. Driving down the lane. Whistle, ball rolls out of bounds off of Parks. Kuiper, the main man of this big three-headed weapon that the Troy Colts have, almost had that fast break opportunity, almost converted. Now it's going to be Parker with Scott. Trying to dance a little bit, create some extra separation. Parker for the triple, no good. Armstrong with the rebound as early on here. Defense has been the main strategy for both teams. Scott driving in over to Sharkey in the corner for the triple. No good as it goes off the back rim. Lake now up to Whiteside. Whiteside parks on him defensively. Over on the other side, baseline. That's going to be a triple. No good. Rebounded by Troy. And Mason Parker puts it in for the first points of the game here. Two zip, Troy. Parks diving on the floor, pass, it's going to be intercepted. Now it's going to be Kuiper, tipped away by Scott, out of bounds, and it looks it's going to go back to Lake Orion. Very fast-paced game so far as we are only a minute and 10 seconds in multiple turnovers by both sides. And that's probably going to happen when you have some sort of full-court press like the Troy Colts are having right now. It puts a lot of stress on these young players. But Lake Orion has some veteran experience in their front court. That's going to be a backcourt violation as Gabe Scott throws the air and pass. Parks having to go on the other side of the court behind the half court line to retrieve that ball. And as we start up here slowly again out of that after that backcourt violation, Whiteside's going to inbound now to Lake. Lake a junior taking it up on Ethan Sharkey, a senior. It's going to be Parker now to Whiteside. Whiteside in the bottom right corner. Back to Lake at the top, drives left side, picks up his dribble. Whiteside now the main man of this three-man roll chasing along with Kuiper. Step back, looking for the triple. He hits it. John Whiteside with a lethal step back there creates some separation that allows for him to hit that deep three-point basket. Scott swings it over to Sharkey. That's going to be another turnover back to Whiteside, and Whiteside's going to put in the easy layup. Whistle, timeout, early one by Lake Orion head coach Jose Andrades. And you have to think that this was a common theme in practice for the past couple of weeks for Lake Orion. How to deal with this very intense pressure that the Colts are bringing here early on in the game. 
Now, Troy has been known. They are a very, very good team. They played Ligurian a couple times last year, twice to be exact, and beat them in both times. The first matchup was very, very close, 36-35 to 35 here inside of the Ligurian High School Fieldhouse. The second one also very close. However, Troy also pulled out of that one with a 48-44 to 44 victory, something that Troy is looking to replicate here tonight. And as the Dragons come out of the timeout, six minutes left here in the first quarter. 7-0 is your score. Parks is going to inbound it now for LO. Sharky having it. Whiteside trying to force him to go to his left. Whistle out of bounds off of Whiteside's knee. Parks is going to inbound it again. The junior Ortonville Brandon High School transfer has been the main weapon for Lake Orion so far this season. As Sharkey beats the trap, trying to find Russell on the right, on the left side, almost errant pass down low to Parks. Parks spin move, puts it up and in off the backboard. Zachary Price Parks using his spin move there to create some points for the Dragon offense. Andrew Lake now driving left side, putting it up off the backboard, no good. Here goes Gabe Scott. Scott all the way up to Price Parks, and that's going to be intercepted by Whiteside. A physical play now over to Parker, stripped by Scott. And this game has had a lot of turnovers early on. Very fast-paced game so far. No real long possessions that might change here. Sharkey over to Scott. Scott trying to find some space, puts up the floater. Incorrect answer as that's going to be a rebound by Chase Kuiper. Kuiper, a senior here, now backing down on the sophomore, Russlow. Kuiper turned, and he's going to hit that hook, putting the Colts up to an early seven-point lead tip, and that's going to be another steal by Troy. Here goes Kuiper, whistle, and it appears to be a foul. So a key note is that Link Orion starter, Quay Fly, is out right now. He is in uniform. But he is out of the starting lineup as number five, Hayden Armstrong, a fellow senior member of that 2024 class, has stepped into a starting role here. Number 15, Colby Loris is going to check in for Ethan Sharkey now. As Lake is going to inbound it to Kuiper. Rush low on him defensively. Long wingspan could help him here as Kuiper drills him down, puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Loris. Here goes Galbin, a member of that junior guard room along with MJ Long and Gabe Scott trying to compete for some playing time. Now it's going to be Lauris. He loses the ball. Stripped away by Whiteside. Whiteside crossover. Shalotte looking to drive in. Whistle out of bounds. It's going to go back to Dragons basketball. And Troy this season has taken a huge step forward. Last season they were only 18 and 7. Not a record to be disappointed by, but so far to start the elite, uh, to start the young season, they are 7 and 1, going on a 6 game winning streak after losing their very first game. I mean, what a way to start out their season. They started out the year with an overtime loss to Berkeley, 69 to 63. They won st six straight games since. This is how you want to rebound from a loss that kills your confidence. And as we've seen with Troy, it's done the exact opposite. It's a little fire underneath them. And we've seen it very early on in this contest. Price Parks get a lucky bounce off the front rim as it goes in for his first free throw attempt. The junior eyeing up the backboard. Puts two dribbles down on the ball. Puts it up and it goes through. Two for two at the free flow line for his first trip for Zachary Price Parks. And now it's going to be Andrew Lake. Four on four. The two numbers is now it's going to be Parker on the left side. Lauris has him defensively trying to drive the baseline. Whistle. And it appears it's going to be a foul on Loris. First personal foul for Laura, second team foul for the Dragons. Lake will inbound. Same starting lineup out there for the Troy Colts. That's one thing to notice is that they don't have a lot of depth. They really have to rely on that big three of John Whiteside, Chase Kuiper, and Mason Parker. We'll get into them more as the game goes on. Lake down low, aggressive pass off the hands of Whiteside. Too hard to handle there as it goes out of bounds. Price Parks now to inbound it to Galvin. Galvin approaching the trap, splits it effectively. What a move there by Nick Galvin over to Hayden Armstrong in the corner for the triple air ball. And that ball's going to roll out of bounds. 
that ball was looked like just looked like it was voted off of the island there. Not a great shot by the senior. As he is going to inbound it now for a low. Deep pass to Galvin. Troy in the zone defense here as Parks has it up top. Driving left side, down low to Armstrong, and he redeems his earlier mistake with a great catch and shot off the backboard. Here goes Parker, however, trying to answer. No good. Armstrong picks up his dribble from a pass from Ruslo, and now it's going to be Galbin to head the Dragon offense. Armstrong over to Parks. Ruslo having it now, driving, stopping. Back to Galbin. Galbin drives right side, however, puts it up. No good. Whiteside with the impressive vertical jump right there as he retains the rebound for Troy. That's going to be a Troy basketball player down as it's rejected by Hayden Armstrong again. Lowris taking it down the court. He's going to stop, put it up. 360 wrap around the rim, no good. Lowris gets his own rebound though. Swiped and stolen by Whiteside. Errant pass taken back by Armstrong. Galvin now. Very sloppy game by both sides as we continue on here in the first quarter. Lauris, that's going to be a whistle stoppage of play. And it looks like it might be a foul on Bryce Bauman. One of the five seniors on this varsity team, a member of the 2024 class. Oh, wow. Correction, that foul was on number four, Andrew Lake. Sending Lauris to the line. Lauris hits his first. As checking in for the Dragon, Sharkey, as Armstrong walks back to the bench. Ethan Sharkey, known for his lethal shooting ability early on, as that's another lucky bounce for the Dragons. Lauris goes two for two. Now in for the Colts is number 20, Jack Sobotka, as Lako heads the bench with two early fouls here in this contest. Two minutes and 20 seconds left in the first quarter as Whiteside now parks on him defensively. Finds Sobotka down low, out to Kuiper. Kuiper for the triple, will he hit it? Splash! Kuiper, one of two players that is currently averaging a double-double for this Troy basketball team, hits the triple early on. Is now Ruslow trying to answer with his own three-pointer. That is an incorrect answer. As Troy tipped out of bounds by Nick Galbin, Troy will retain possession, but great defensive effort by the junior guard there to stop a potential three-point basket. Here goes Parker, spin move. Step back, trying to create some space. Clink, it goes off the front rim. Galvin slipping, steps out of bounds. Troy will have the ball again after another mistake by this Dragons offense here. Price Parks leads the scoring for Elo here with four points. Let's see if he can continue to lead them. Here goes Sobotka for an early three-pointer in his night. No good. Galvin now. He has a chance. Over to Kobe Loris. Price Parks having the ball now at the top of the key. Looking down low. No good. Finds it out to Kobe Loris for the triple. Off the back rim. And that is not going to fall. Mason Parker driving now. Contact, whistle, and a foul. It appears it might be on... It's going to be on Kobe Loris again. Sending Parker to the line. That's going to be Loris' second foul of the game. Parker shooting two. That is a new rule inside of the MHSAA this year. No more one-on-one -on -one fouls. You get fouled, you go to the line, you have two free throws automatically. And now Loris is going to go to the bench. Scott checks back in. As here we go. Parker now going for a second attempt. This time he hits. Betting 500 on the night so far from the free throw line. 
as Rushlow has it now. Up to Park, spin move off the left side of the backboard, no good. Rebounded by Rushlow, he puts it back up, and that is not going to fall. Parker now, the Colts like to run, they like transition offense. Started with great defense here. Scott almost takes it away. However, Kuiper's going to retain that ball, and he'll have the offensive attack as of now. The 6'6 senior, weighing 200 pounds, as he spin moves, puts it up, playing off the front rim, no good. Tried to be saved by the Colts, and that's not going to be good enough as Parks has it up the court. He puts it up, and there's a foul as he falls going to be on number 11, Chase Kuyper. He's wondering where the foul came from in the Troy oh, student oh, section. Not agreeing with that call. Team third. third team foul for Troy early on here as Price Parks going for another attempt at the free throw line. He's made his first two earlier. This time, no good. Wraps around the rim and falls out as the third member of that junior guard class, MJ Long, checks in now for Sharkey as he goes back to the bench. Cos Andrade's trying to find the correct solution to that fast-paced Troy offensive attack. The second free throw is no good, and Price Parks goes 0 for 2 at the free throw line for his second trip. Kuiper now, he has it. Dragons try to make a late sub, it's not gonna go. Mason Parker, the guard now. Making some dance moves. Going left side, no look pass to Kuiper. Kuiper driving right. Pump fake, off the backboard, no good. Rebounded by Scott after a late battle. Scott puts it up, and that's gonna be short as we are out of time here in the first quarter. The Colts of Troy lead Lake Orion 13 to eight. And what a game it's been so far. A very fast-paced, action-filled game. Normally when you're talking about high school basketball, especially inside of Michigan, you're talking about methodical, strategic, offensive possessions. It's been anything but that here tonight, as Troy really wants to push it. They really want to have that defensive prowess down low, and that's going to allow them to get out on transition and run just like they want to do. For the Gorian so far, they've been effective at the free throw line. That's what, that's what their main weapon's gonna be as if they wanna have success going down the line. However, their defense has to step up on that transition day, on that transition game. Coach Andrade's not looking too happy here. He's gonna have to find a solution to Troy's formula so far. And their big three of Chase Kuiper, John Whiteside, and Mason Parker. Buzzer blows. Teams are exiting their huddles currently, and we are now going to head so, to some second quarter action here inside of the Lake Orion High School Fieldhouse. Once again, I'm Ben Shadow, joined by absolutely nobody, but that's okay. We're having a great time here for the ONTV game of the week here between Lake Orion and Troy High School for some boys varsity basketball action on this Thursday night, the 4th of January. Happy New Year to all. Thanks for tuning in with us here tonight inside of LOHS. The Dragons are gonna have possession first as Troy won the tip off here in the second quarter. Parks has it now. As Quay Fly checks into the game for the first time tonight, MJ Long over to Quay Fly. He drives in, puts it up, missed opportunity. He rebounds his own shot though. Pump fake got Whiteside to jump up in the air and he's gonna hit it off the white square on the backboard. Down to a one possession game now for LO, 13 to 10. Sobotka up top, Galvin on him defensively. Panoza, that's over to white side. Whistle, excuse me, that was Parker that had the ball. That's gonna be a whistle. And that's going to be a foul on number one, Quay Fly, as he just enters the game. Not even a minute in on his first personal foul. That's got to be a worry if you're head coach Jose Andrades. Quay Fly almost with the steal from the inbound play. Kuiper with the Euro step lay in, and it's going to be good. Fall through for two, 15 to 10 here in some second quarter action. Galvin has it now. 
over the long in the left side corner. Whistle, travel, turnover. And head coach Jose Andrade shaking his head, not liking that play right there. Lake Orion might apply some full court pressure here. They're gonna back off as Parker brings it up for Troy. Picks up his dribble, almost stolen by MJ Long. And that's gonna be out of bounds. Troy will retain possession. And we talked to head coach Jose Andrade before the season started, and he compared MJ Long to a sort of Matteo DeCille player from last year. DeCille, currently back in Italy, he was a former exchange student last year that really knew his part on the team. Very good defensive player, could put him on anyone, head coach Andrade said, and he would feel comfortable with this defensive effort. Kuiper now, down low, whistle, and another foul on Lake Orion. That's Fly's second personal foul, second team foul inside of the second quarter, putting Sobaka at the line. Sobaka, a six foot, 155 pound sophomore, puts it up and through for this Troy basketball team. Sobaka, one of only three sophomores on this Troy team, being joined by number 12, Patrick Johnson, and number 10, Cameron Adams. Sobaka goes up for a second attempt, no good. Here goes Fly now. Fly pulls up from three-point range. That's going to be no good. Whistle. And Lake Orion is going to retain possession as Sharkey subs back in. And Long's going to come back out now. Troy has made a couple substitutions with Sobaka and Pinoza coming in. However, they've remained constant with their big three. Whistle, travel, and Fly turns the ball over again. Jose Andrade is not happy with his efforts so far here tonight. He's going to have to make it up somehow. Maybe perhaps on the defensive end on Kuiper as Parker rolls it around his back. Great move, whistle out of bounds, so another turnover. Turnovers have been the theme here tonight. Just lackadaisical offense has not produced many buckets so far as we are at 16 to 10, almost approaching six minutes left in the second quarter. Galvin now. Goes up, whistle, and another foul. It's going to be on Troy's number 20, Jack Sobaka. Their second team foul of the quarter. First personal for Sobaka. Sending Galvin to the line for his first trip. Galvin dribbles a basketball. Looks up. Takes a shot. And that's not going to fall as Armstrong checks back in for fly now. And Patrick Johnson, another sophomore on this team, checks in for Whiteside. The first time one of the big three members of this Colts team has gone out tonight. Let's see if the Dragons can capitalize on one of the bench pieces in the game for Troy. Galvin hit his second free throw as now Parker has the ball for Troy. Over to Johnson. Now Sobotka. That's gonna be a deep three for Mason. Parker, he hits it! Troy looking for a foul there, maybe. And a stoppage in play. And it looks like the official is having some words with Mason Parker and the Troy head coach. Could have been an official's timeout as Parker hit the floor pretty hard there. Troy fans were looking for some sort of foul for some hard contact. But what a shot by Mason Parker right there. He's not one of the main uh, scorers of this team. Dude's averaged 16 points a game with 1.4 steals so far early on this season. But when you talk about scores for this Troy team, as Scott almost has it turned over, you're thinking about Chase Kuiper and John Whiteside. Not really a big name in Mason Parker. Sharkey has the ball. Over to Galvin. Galvin pulls up for the long two-pointer. That's not going to fall. Dragons still struggle with their field goal percentage early on here tonight. Only 10 points. Kuiper gets around Scott. Looks like he's almost toying with him, unfortunately. Johnson. And that's going to be a triple. Finding Pinoza in the right corner. Pinoza hits another three-pointer. as That moves their lead to 11 early on for Troy. Sharkey has the ball, can he answer with a three of his own? That's incorrect. 
Parker has the ball, almost swiped away by Parks. Successfully swiped away this time. Whistle and a jump ball, early jump ball call there between Patrick Johnson and Zachary Price Parks. Possession arrow favors Troy as now Sobotka to inbound and now for the Colts. Four minutes and 48 seconds left in the second quarter. 22 to 11 is your score. We're here for the ONTV game of the week inside of the Lake Orion High School Fieldhouse as Parker gives it to Kuiper. A lot of people wanted a travel call there as Kuiper lost control. He misses the shot anyways. Here goes Gabe Scott. Gabe Scott pulls up for a deep three-point dagger and he hits it. Gabe Scott, what an impressive play there from the junior guard. Pulls up, confidence in his eyes, and he stares that ball down as it goes nothing but net into the basket. Patrick Johnson now. That's going to be a three. Can Mason Parker answer again? No good. Rebounded by Armstrong. Galvin looking up the court now. Finds Scott. Sharky in the corner for another three-pointer. Overshot. Rebounded by Armstrong. Looking for help down low. Whistle and a foul, it appears to be as the ref blows it dead. Whistle and a foul on number 15, Pinoza, as Lake and Whiteside check back into the game. Kuiper and Parser go back to the bench. Loris checks in for Scott, and Bauman checks in for Pinoza. Fly check back in there for Armstrong as well. Parks now, hasn't signed a minute yet. Galvin has it at the LO logo. Zone defense from Troy. Parks finds Quay down low. Back out to Galvin for the triple. Bang! Nick Galvin with a very impressive deep three-point ball there to move the lead to five points against Troy. Here goes Lake. Lake drives. Air ball as it's rebounded by Sharky. The Dragons have the momentum right now. Price Parks pulls up for another three-point dagger. It's going to be no good. Rebounded by Fly, though. He puts it up and in. Rising to the rim, Quay Fly with an impressive shot right there as he grabs the rebound and puts it up and in, in off the glass. The Dragon student section getting into the game now. Andrew Lake has the ball. Four on offense and four on defense as it's Galvin versus Lake. White side with the very impressive spin move whistle. Travel turnover and the Dragon student section is loving that call. Kuiper checks back in now as Sabaka goes back to the bench. No Mason Parker as their lead guard is still on the bench. Nick Galvin crossing the half court line. The Colts have backed off from their full court press. Moving to a man defense. Price Parks down low to Loris. Loris off the backboard and he rises to the rim, rises to the, to the occasion with that big basket right there for Loris, cutting the lead down to one. Andrew Lake now taking it left side over to Kuiper. Kuiper almost stolen by Fly, it is stolen by Fly. That's gonna be Lowris now, Lowris to Sharkey. Sharkey has ball, spin move. Galvin has it now, he's gonna slow down and set up some offense. Receives a screen from Fly. Lowris in the left hand corner. Drives baseline, gonna be stopped by Kuiper. Galvin has it now for the deep three point ball. No good as it goes clink off the front side of the rim. White side with the deep pass to Lake. Lake on the right side, drives in. No look pass to Johnson. Johnson off the backboard. That was an incredibly weird shot right there as that's going to go out of bounds. It's going to stay with Troy as Johnson's going to come out after that shot right there. Dragon student, Dragon student section wishing the Troy Colts would take more of those three-point shots as it went off the top corner from the side of that basket right there. Parker has it over to Bauman. And Lake having it now. Not a member of that big three, but always can contribute at some point in the game. Kuiper has it. Fly playing great defense on him currently. Kuiper drives right by him, right side, puts it up. Whistle and one. 
What a basket right there as Sharkey tried to take the charge. Kuiper turns it into a blocking foul and he hits the and one basket as it's gonna send him to the line for one more. And Troy's most recent game of the year, they won in 2023 against Detroit Edison on the 28th of December in a 69 to 68 game. As Kuiper hits the free throw right there as they won the North Farmington Holiday, Holiday Extravaganza Tournament. That game was led by a game winner from Mason Parker as he had 16 points in that game. Kuiper had 25 and 11 rebounds. He was named the player of the game in that tournament as Lowers gets the rebound from the three-pointer, swings it over to Parks and he hits the two-pointer. Lake drives down forcefully, whistle out of bounds is gonna stay with Trey. And right now there are a couple of dragons in a little bit of foul trouble, nothing too much, but Rushlow, Loris, and Fly all have two fouls early on here. As Sharkey goes out, Armstrong checks in for him. Armstrong checks in for Long, excuse me. And it appears that Scott will go in for Sharkey. Lake has the ball now to inbound it for Troy. Finds Parker, gets Lowers to jump, takes the deep two, air ball, and that's gonna be rebounded by Armstrong. Stoppage of play. And that's gonna be a foul on number two, Bryce Bauman, the 5'11", 160 pound senior as the Dragons will retain possession. We are under a minute here in the first half. 25 to 23 is your score between the Dragons and the Colts from Troy. Gabe Scott finds Lawrence, drives right side baseline, puts a floater up that's not gonna fall. Kuiper has the rebound, he's gonna slow it down, and with no shot clock, it might seem that Troy is gonna attempt to take the last shot here in the first half. Kuiper has it on the left side as we approach 30 seconds. Fly trying to force some sort of mistake. Whiteside has it. Over to Lake, 20 seconds left here in the second quarter. Lake to Parker. Parker trying to call play, 13 seconds now. 10 seconds, no shot clock here. The Colts gotta go now, Kuiper, right side, puts up the floater, will he hit it? Yes he does, four seconds left in the second quarter. Armstrong trying to find somebody over to Scott for the deep three pointer from the other side, it hits the rim, and that's gonna be no good. So the Dragons go to the locker room, only down by four to a very impressive and physical Troy basketball team. 27 to 23 is your score here inside of the Lake Orion High School Fieldhouse. This has been the ONTV Game of the Week, we will be back after this halftime break. As the voice of Michigan Student Athletes, the Student Advisory Council's role is to convey the message of how high school sports are supposed to be played. We are responsible for helping the MHSAA maintain a positive and healthy atmosphere in which interscholastic students can thrive. We believe athletes should be competitive, sportsmanlike, and excel academically. We believe students of a stand should have fun but not take the focus away from the game. We believe coaches should act as teachers, helping student athletes develop while still keeping high school sports in perspective. We believe that parents should always be positive role models and be supportive of their child's decisions. We believe officials commit their own time to high school sports. And respect should always be shown and given to them. The most important goal for student athletes is to enjoy high school sports. It's while maintaining a high level of respect for all those involved in the games. Enjoy, enjoy the, the game. game. I don't think anybody would care if I just stopped coming to school. None of the things that used to bring me joy bring me joy anymore. Sometimes I wish I could just disappear. I wish I had somebody just to talk to. My mental health matters. 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 
our mental health matters. And we are back here for some third quarter action inside of the Lake Orion High School Fieldhouse between the Troy Colts and your Lake Orion Dragons for the ONTV game of the week. We are here after a halftime brief stop of play as Scott has the ball now. Armstrong back to Parks. The Dragons looking to come out hot here as Scott with the deep three point ball shorts. Rebounded by Kuiper. Kuiper taking it up the court now for Troy. Finds Ballman. Ballman picks up his dribble. Now over to Kuiper. Russell back in the game after missing a bunch of time in the first half. There's a whistle and another foul on the young sophomore. That's Russell's third personal foul right there as it might force head coach Jose Andrades to pull him and put him on the bench. Kuiper hits his first free throw in a tightly contested game. 28 to 23 is our score as both teams look to continue their hot, their hot start, start early on. Kuiper's gonna miss his second free throw as Scott rebounds it and has it up now. Russ Lowe, Parks going right side, drives in, no good, rebounded by Kuiper. Lake has the ball, swings it over to Parker for the triple in the left hand corner splash. Mason Parker does what he does best with another three point dagger there for the Troy Colts. Sharkey trying to respond, can he nylon? Ethan Sharkey, the senior guard, responds with a three pointer of his own as Parker has it down low now, puts it up and off the backboard with the reverse lay in. What a, what a couple of possessions by both teams right here as transition offense killed the Dragons on that last one there. Scott loses possession and Loris is gonna check in now. So is Nick Galvin. Scott and Russell come out of the game. And after only a minute and 25 seconds, Ryan Russell comes out of the game. Whistle and it's gonna be a 30 second timeout by the Dragons. Speaking of Lake Orion, their next game is against Birmingham Seaholm next Tuesday when all the students get back from Christmas break on January 9th for the second game of 2023. For Troy, their next game is also next Tuesday on January 9th when they host Bloomfield Hills High School inside of their own gymnasium. And as we come back, the main theme of this game has been physicality, speed, and defense, as both teams have struggled multiple times on the offensive front to create any offensive progressions. But a bunch of turnovers have been happening here inside of the Lake Orion High School Fieldhouse. Let's see what adjustments these head coaches have made during their halftime breaks. Andrew Lake has the ball now for Troy. Galvin on him defensively. Finds Ballman. Ballman pump fake driving down low. Arid pass goes out of bounds. White side not fast enough to be able to recover and the ball goes to the Dragons. Nick Galvin taking it up the court now. White side forces him to go to his right. Galvin breaking the trap. Finds Parks. Parks, you're a step lane and it's good. Finds the bottom of the net for LO there. Cutting the lead down to five. Parker spin move on Lauris, puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Price Parks. Parks now behind the back move. Trying to look for help as he picks up his dribble, finds Galvin. Galvin spin move, back down to Parks. What a connection right there and what a basket from Zachary Price Parks. A two on three on the left side of the offensive court and they get it done. Andrew Lake has the ball. Finding Chase Kuiper. Here goes Whiteside driving right. Finding Parker for a deep three-pointer. Contact, whistle, and a foul on Kobe Loris as he helps Mason Parker up to the floor. Foul was after the shot. 
So it appears that it's only going to be two free throws, much to the dismay of the Troy coaching staff. Now, since it was after, in fact, it might even be inbounded by Troy as it was after the shot instead of during the shot. Now that takes it down from two to three free throws. Now Troy's going to inbound the ball. MJ Long is going to be subbed in for Kobe Lauris and one of those three junior guards member of that 2025 class for LO. Kuiper has it now with Price Parks on him defensively. Going to create separation there. Shot's going to go off. Out of bounds, like Orion has the ball. Troy is not happy with that call. As the rush runs over, might have to correct that. It's going to stay with Troy. As the initial decision by the refs was overruled by another one. Andrew Lake has the ball. Up to Whiteside. Whiteside driving right side. Whistle. And Lake Orion will retain possession after an offensive violation from the Colts. Galvin now swinging it over to Sharkey. Sharkey breaks the trap, finds MJ Long in the corner. Whistle another foul on Kuiper now. As assistant coach Nate Tolber, a former member of this Lake Orion Dragons basketball team all the way back in the early 2010s, very glad and happy to have him on the sideline this year as head coach Jose Andrades. What a pass there by Nick Galvin. Eurostep lead by Zachary Price Parks. An impressive feat as the ball finds the bottom of the net, cutting the Dragon deficit down to one point. Andrew Lake, what a pass. Down low, swatted away though by Zachary Price Parks. Parks doing it both on the offensive and defensive end here for, for LO. Andrew Lake now. Quick pass into Parker. Parker is going to pull up. No good. Rebounded by Kuiper. Spin move. Puts it up. That's not going to find the bottom of the net. Rebounded by Galbert. A three on one opportunity. Upward pass. And I think Nick Galvin might have thought that Parks was down there. Maybe going for an alley oop pass. Instead, he found the junior guard, MJ Long, one of the shortest players on the team, down low. And an errant pass goes to the Troy. Colts. Andrew Lake has it now as Kuiper has it. Screen Parker now on the, on the bottom right baseline. White side. Shakes it. A fender puts it up and off the wet box on the backboard. Impressive shot right there by John Whiteside to move the Colts lead to three points. We are approaching four minutes here in the third quarter as the score is 35 to 32. Troy leads LO. The Dragons just need a spark to get their momentum going again. As Parks trying to ignite that spark with the flame, he hits it. Zachary Price Parks might have just delivered the basket the Dragons have been looking for all game. As he knots things up at 35 apiece. The Dragon bench coming alive now, chanting D up for their players on the court. Kuiper with an impressive feat though, as he spin moves around Parks for an easy lay in off the backboard. Three minutes and 30 seconds left to go in this tightly contested affair in the third corner. MJ Long trying his own three point shot. No, but rebounded by Price Parks. Going for another three pointer. Nylon! Price Parks again with another three point dagger that takes the Dragons into the lead for the first time all half. The Dragons bench coming alive as Mason Parker creates separation, tries a three-pointer of his own, no good, rebounded by Whiteside, down, down to Bowman, rejected by Price Parks. Parks on the floor now, whistle. Dragons looking for a jump ball, instead it's gonna be a foul on Parks himself. Parks amped up after that huge couple of possessions right there as Armstrong checks out with Scott checking in. Parker going for the quick inbound pass. Dragons weren't ready, and the Colts reclaim their throne. Galvin taking it up the court now. As Kuiper, the 6'6 man, on the little guard defensively. Here goes Galvin. Looking for some help. 
doesn't get it. What a pass down low to Scott, and he, Scott, what an impressive play right there. Excuse me, but he just made an incredible play, throwing the ball behind his head as it rolls in off the rim. Stolen turnover for the Dragons. MJ Long running up the court. John Whiteside with the rejection. John Whiteside, what an incredible, what a bit, what an incredible play as he now has the ball. Physicality, a theme for his game here tonight. Dragons want to follow, they won't get it as Whiteside puts it up and in. A chaotic couple of possessions here for both sides in tonight's affair. Leading to the 41 to 40 game that we are in with one minute and 44 seconds left in the third quarter. Sharkey over to Scott. Scott tries to go left side baseline, won't get it. Whistle and it appears to be a foul after another stoppage of play. It's going to be on number one, John Whiteside. As Bauman checks out, Sabaka checks in. And here comes the star of the JV Lake Orient basketball team, Jackson Shosky, a member of that five quarter rule that applies to every team inside of the MHSAA here tonight. As Sharkey checks out, Shosky after an incredible performance leading the JV Boys Dragons to a victory over Troy here earlier tonight inside of the field house before the varsity game gets his opportunity. Whistle, foul on the floor as Parks falls. It's gonna be on number 20, Sobatka. Dragons are gonna inbound the ball now. Second personal for Sabaka, 13 foul. Shosky, the, the sophomore, pulls up from beyond range. No good. Kuiper has it now. Finds Whiteside. Whiteside driving in. What a play by John Whiteside, using his length and athleticism to find a hole and create his own bucket right there. Playing very physical tonight. Let's see if the Dragons can respond. Galvin pulls up from the free throw line. He falls back. No stop, it's a play, and it's no good. Whiteside has the ball now. Driving it up the court. He creates a lane of separation and finds the bottom of the net. 45 to 40 as we are under a minute here. The Dragons looking for some sort of offensive play here to get them back on track. Andrew Lake was too aggressive there, and that's going to be a foul on number four for Troy. Troy foul on number four, Andrew Lake is third, team fourth. Third personal foul, fourth team foul here for Troy in the third quarter. Price Parks looking to start something here on offense. It's going to be Scott. Lake on him defensively, Scott. Trying to drive left side, he finds Shosky. Shosky going right, picks up his dribble. Travel turnover for Jackson Shosky. Head coach Jose Andrades has wanted to get Shosky in the game, seeing how many points he's averaged down on the JV level. Anywhere from 20 to 30 points a game for the young sophomore. Made his first mistake at the varsity level, and MJ Long checks back in. The ref is telling some Dragons to check it, to tuck in their jerseys. And Price Parks is gonna back off the early press. Andrew Lake now. Galvin on him on the defensive side. Four on four action as Lake crosses the half court line. White side, couple of great offensive possessions from one of the big three. Andrew Lake getting Galvin to slip, finds Kuiper for the wide open three pointer, and it hits! Chase Kuiper with the great play as time winds down. MJ Long with the deep shot, it's not going to go. And what a couple of offensive possessions from the Troy Colts here as we end out the third quarter, pushing their lead to eight. And as we go into the break, 48 to 40 is your score. What a last offensive possession from Troy right there. You had John Whiteside, who, has not, who had it on the left side, Nick Galvin on him defensively. Gets Galvin to slip, creates some separation, no look pass to one of his best teammates and best friends, Chase Kuiper, who hits a long downtown three-pointer. 
to move this to an eight point game. The Colts have the length, the Dragons have the fight. And as we enter fourth quarter prime time here inside of Lake Orion High School, just outside of downtown Lake Orion, Michigan, let's see which team has the stamina and the strength to go on. Both teams atop of the OAA White Division with both a 3-0 conference record apiece. That all ends here tonight as one team will get their first loss in that loss column. John Whiteside, the main man of that third quarter offensive action for the Trey Colts to inbound it now. Kuiper, Parker, and Whiteside all in for Troy. As now head coach Jose Andrade for Lake Orion is going to make an adjustment on the defensive end, putting Quay Fly on Parker. It's now going to be Sabatka. Left side over to Parker, the main man for the point guard position. Driving right side, trying to take a charge. Is Galvin no good? Galvin gets the rebound. The short junior point guard taking it up the left side now. He finds some defensive pressure, dives on the floor. It's gonna be taken in by Fly. Fly with the easy lay-in right there after a chaotic possession. The Dragons finally get their two points. Seven minutes and 10 seconds left about here in the fourth quarter. Kuiper has it, he finds Lake for the deep three-point dagger, no good. Parks has the ball. Six point lead is Troy. Parks trying to find something. Fly has it down low, right side. Back out to Russell. Russell looking for the three. He doesn't go. Here goes Parks though. Driving left side. Rejected by Kuiper. Kuiper taking the ball up the court. Finds Parker. Two on one fast break opportunity. Fakes the pass. And he hits the lay in. You turn the ball over. You get into bad scenarios, Troy is gonna convert on a majority of those transitional offensive plays. That's their bread and butter for the Troy Colts. As now Parks has it. Sharkey almost losing possession from the pass. Trying to find some open space, stolen by Kuiper again. The normal offensive possession man is gonna go up and it's gonna be rejected by Quay Fly. Quay Fly as Parks going down, finds Quay Fly again, up and off the backboard, no good. Kuiper slow to get back, and now it's rejected by Parker. Up to Kuiper, Kuiper has an opportunity. This time he'll just lay it in though. Whistle official is gonna stop the play. Kuiper looked like he might have wanted a foul call there on Quay Fly. Now the Troy head coach having some of his own words, a brief discussion with the referee about that last play. I don't know if Kuiper fell down or if he was slow to get back up, but he didn't get back on his defensive possession for a long while. As now there is an official timeout stoppage of play where both teams will go to their own respective huddles. 52 to 42 is your score here in the fourth quarter as we are just under six minutes of playing time left in this basketball game. Troy is up on Lake Orion after a very physical affair. Lake Orion's gotta come back with all the momentum that they've got here for tonight. Once again, I'm Ben Shadle, being joined by absolutely nobody for the ONTV Game of the Week inside of Lake Orion High School between the Lake Orion Dragons and the Troy Colts. We thank you for tuning in tonight to listen to my great, amazing voice as tonight we are here trying to see the Dragons overcome incredible odds against the Troy Colts. What adjustments does head coach Andrades make here with his Dragons? He tried to put Quay Fly on Mason Parker. Quay Fly had a couple good possessions both on the offensive and defensive ends. However, Lake Orion has to learn to finish those plays in order to score more points down low, something that they haven't been able to do all season. Parks now, the junior is gonna inbound it for Lake Orion, and as the music fades out, it's gonna be Parks taking it up the court. 
Scott has it. The starting guard for Ligorian taking over. Nate Havarilla's role from last year. And that's going to be a throw, almost turnover. Russell gets the rebound down low to Quay Fly. Quay Fly misses the easy opportunity, rebounds his own shot. No good. Rebounded by Kuiper, and that's going to stop that Dragons offensive possession. A missed opportunity there for LO. White side over to Sobatka. Stolen after he made the extra pass to Mason Parker. He had a wide open layup, could have made it. Instead, trying to go for an extra pass, it's picked off by Parks. Russlow rejected by Kuiper again. Russlow dives to the floor, taken in by Parks for the deep three. Nylon! The Orinville Brandon transferred LO this year. The main weapon on this Dragons offense comes up clutch again. Maybe the momentum boost that LO needs in order to get this win. Russlow on Kuiper. Kuiper driving in, puts it up, and it goes through. Chase Kuiper with another key offensive basket for LO there. Ryan Rushlow now as Parks has it. Parks picks up his dribble after the pump fake. Finds Scott. Scott down low to Rushlow. Rushlow, the incredible sophomore, puts it up and puts it through. Ryan Rushlow, the multi-sport athlete, comes up clutch there as head coach Jose Andrades is yelling at his players to play on the defensive end. Whistle, and it appears it's going to be a timeout. Troy, as head coach Gary Fralick, who has been there, this is now his 30th year coaching, according to his wife, who is running the scorebook for Troy down low. Coach Fralick has had a lot of success at Troy over those three decades, trying to replicate that success not only here tonight, but for the rest of this season here. Four minutes and 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The score is 54 to 47 between Lake Orion and Troy. Earlier this season, Troy won the KLAA OAA Red Challenge as they played the Novi Wildcats in a close affair, which they won 56 to 54. For Lake Orion, they also played in the KLAA OAA Challenge, where they got a victory as well. And as both teams come out of the huddle, looking to capitalize on some late game opportunities, possible late game mistakes by both sides here, as Andrew Lake will take the ball now up for Troy. Gabe Scott on him defensively, forcing him to go left. Lake stops, tries to go back right. Now he goes left, finding some separation. Floater up and off the backboard, and it goes in. Troy capitalizing on some late game miscommunications perhaps from the Dragon defense. Gabe Scott finds Fly. Fly pump fake, left baseline, takes the deep two pointer and somehow that went in. Ball was as straight as a laser right there as it hits the back part of the rim and falls through. Andrade is calling out a defensive play for his Dragons team. Kuiper now. Has the ball for Troy. Almost a backcourt violation as Quay Fly is playing great defense with amazing effort here. Sliding, shuffling his feet. Kuiper has to get rid of it as now it's Whiteside. Can Whiteside create some offensive production for the Colts? Parks on him now. He finds Lake. It looks like Troy might be playing a little bit of keep away here as Russell now goes for the double team. Kuiper has the ball. Remember, no shot clock here in the MHSAA. Kuiper has it now over the lake. Lake down low to Sobacca. Sobacca puts it up, whistle, and that's going to be a foul call on Zachary Price Parks. Good strategy appears to be for the Troy Colts as once again there's no shot clock in MHSAA basketball on both the boys and girls side. This allows for teams to hold the ball basically forever as long as they want to. As Sabaka goes for his first free throw attempt, he converts. Two minutes and 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 
Your score is 57 to 49. Troy has the lead over this Lake Orion basketball team. The second free throw is up and it's good. Pushing the lead to eight points Troy as Troy is gonna call another 30 second timeout here late in the fourth quarter. And before the game, I talked to Lake Orion assistant coach Caden DeGraffenry, who is also a two-star rated linebacker, currently committed to go play football at the next level at Howard University. I asked him, what is the main strength? What does Lake Orion have to focus on here tonight for them to get a victory against the team who took them down twice last season? He said their main strategy and their main focus is gonna be defense, defense, defense. You have to stop the three-headed attack of John Whiteside, Mason Parker, and Chase Kuyper, and that's exactly what they've really focused on here tonight. Unfortunately, it hasn't gone their way Let's see if that changes here with, with some late minutes, late game altercations. As Scott now has the ball for Lake Orion. Gabe Scott receives the screen from Rush Lowe. Going down low, puts it up, no good. Scott gets his own rebound, rejected by Kuiper out of bounds, and Lake Orion will retain possession. Parks all the way back out to Scott. Scott finds Quay Fly. Quay Fly with the deep two pointer. This time it's no good. Doesn't fall. Andrew Lake has the ball, and Troy can slowly start to weather this clock all the way down as it's stolen by Quay Fly. Quay Fly taking the turnover all the way up as he finds Parks. Parks, whistle, travel, and another turnover for Ligorian here. Parks thought he had the wide open three pointer as a Troy defender came in, almost blocked his shot, but Parks was already midway through the air. And unfortunately, that's going to be a turnover for Ligorian. The Dragons are a young basketball team. They will recover. Their season is not over. But what an impressive start for Jose Andrade's squad as they start the new year. Ligorian has only lost two games so far, those two games being to Pontiac, Notre Dame Prep, and Clarkston, two teams who are both high in the rankings in both of their own respective leagues. They've taken down some pretty quality opponents, including Farmington and a couple of others, as Rush Lowe misses his first free throw. Rush Lowe goes up for a second one. This time, it does not fall. Over two for this trip at the line. And now Troy is going to have the ball. Approaching a minute 45 left in fourth quarter prime time. Kuiper taking it up. Double team from the Dragons. Now it's going to be Parker. Swings it all the way over to Lake. Lake passes it to Kuiper. Kuiper over to Lake. Aaron pass. Stolen by Parks. Parks has it. He pulls up from beyond range. Will he hit it? No good. Clink off the front rim as now here goes Troy on the fast break. So Backup puts it up and in. Parks opting not to go for the block rejection as we are approaching a minute left in this game. It's going to be a slip from Scott. And a foul, it appears. On Whiteside, his second personal foul, second team foul in the fourth quarter. One minute left to go here in the game. Almost a turnover. Parks has it now. Euro step. What a basket right there by Zachary Price. Parks slithering his way through two defenders to put it up and off the backboard and into the net. Whiteside trying to attempt a pass to Sobatka. And another foul on Lake Orion. This time it's going to be on Gabe Smith, his first personal second team foul in this quarter. Whiteside now to inbound it for Troy. Whiteside's done a great job today. Whenever they needed a big basket, they went to him. 
and he came through using his physicality and his incredibly impressive length to come through at big times, driving down low or finding other players open for them big three-pointers. Whiteside is definitely the glue to this team. As Lake has it now, Kuiper, so back up. Over to Whiteside, whistle and a foul on Quay Fly. The Dragons trying to stop the clock as much as they can, though I'm not sure it's going to do any use for him. Fly is going to foul Kuiper, sending him to the line as that is the fifth team foul in the fourth quarter. 37.3 seconds left inside of the field house. 60 to 51 is your score. Troy holds the lead as Kuiper's gonna go for his free throw attempts with the white side at his left. Short on the first one. Parker, Sobeka, and Lake all giving each other high fives. Proud of their team's effort here tonight. And head coach Andrades is going to sub in the sophomore Jackson Shosky as Russell comes out, a fellow sophomore. The future of this program is bright for Lake Orion. It doesn't take any credit away from this team currently. But when you look at the upcoming classes that are coming up to varsity in a couple of years, you got to be happy with the amount of production that coach Andrades has at his disposal. 30 seconds left as Sharkey pulls up for a three-point bomb. Incorrect answer is it's out of bounds and Troy will retain possession. 25.8 seconds left. Excuse me, Ligorian has the ball now. Price Parks. To Quay Fly. Parks trying to create something here. Back out to Sharkey for the deep bomb as it bounces off the front rim. And the bucket says, no way, Jose, as Kuiper is going to hold on to that ball over to white side. And that appears to be the end of this basketball game. And as the clock winds down to zero, Troy will be happy to continue their undefeated record inside of the OAA White League as they take down their fellow undefeated rivals inside of the league with a 61 to 51 victory against the Lake Orion Dragons. Once again, my name is Ben Shadle and we have been here on the ONTV crew for the ONTV game of the week. For everybody joining me on this crew, We'd like to say thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening during your Christmas break. Farewell, friends.